Hi everyone, so today we'll be doing, making this bow out of tape. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Just tape, I made mine out of painter's tape, you could use like duct tape or whatever, but I use painter's tape. So what you're going to need is tape of your choice. Like you can use like duct tape, whatever color you want. But I'm just going to be using painter's tape for today, and like this thick. You can use like thicker duct tape and then it'll just be thicker or whatever. But you can use whatever want you want. I'm just using painter's tape. You can use any color. You can use normal gray duct tape, black, pink, green, I don't care. Just tape that's not too, too thin. You want it to be a little thick, otherwise your bow will be really small. Well, of course you want a really small bow, but then go right ahead. So what you're going to need is to clear out your tape. Now, however long you make this, you have to fold it in half so the sticky side's all gone. You need to make it four times as long as you want your end bow to be roughly. You can figure that out roughly. So you just roll out a bunch. Because you fold this in half and you fold your bow in like half basically. And you make it four times as big. For me, I think that's good. And however big you want, it'll be different. And then you just take it and you try and hold this and not let it just stick to itself because that's not a good thing to do. And you try to get this end up to this end without it sticking weird. And it's a little difficult because it wants to stick weird. And if it does, then you can just start over. Like mine, you see how it's stuck and it's uneven? If it does that, just cut it off and try again. Because you don't want it to be. If it's a little uneven, it's one thing. But mine, as you can see with the light from behind it, is really uneven. And those uneven parts are sticky, but you don't want it sticky. Making smaller bows is easier. And see if you hold the tape, sometimes this will help. If you hold the end of the tape right here, let this part dangle. Then you try to find roughly the center, and you let that dangle, because then it won't stick to itself as easily. And then you can keep this, and you can, like this, you see my fingers there? Hold it right there. And try to line it up as best you can. And then, Pull your finger out and stick that tape down. See, now this time it's a little uneven, but you can't, it's not as bad as the other one, so this is this I'm going to go with. And then you just cut this off the roll. Now this is going to be the bow, but we can set that aside for the moment because we need to make the next part, then we can attach it all together. First you're going to need, you're not going to need a real big piece, just like, Something like that. And then you want to do the same thing and fold it in half. And if this one's a little less perfect, it's okay because you can always cut the part you want out. But you're not going to need the whole thing. And then you just cut it off too. But this will set to the side for a moment. So you're going to take this. You're going to fold it in like this so that the ends overlap just a little bit. So that's how long my bow is going to end up being. If you wanted it bigger, you need to make this overall piece just longer. Like this. And then you want to just take a piece of tape, just a little piece, peel off a little bit. It's not perfect, doesn't matter, because you're not going to see it. And then just tape these two overlap pieces on the back together. So that it's, sort, it's like a big, so it's a circle thing now, like this. And you just keep it like that. And now, we're going to go back to work on this piece again. Now that piece is pretty much ready for us. You can cut this down however size you want. I'm just going to cut the sides off because they're the parts that are weird. I think I'm going to leave it a little thinner than this. Like that. If you want it to be fairly thin. The smaller the bow you end up being, the smaller you want this piece to be. So what you're going to do is take this. This is the back side. You want, you, you want to have the front side like for this part. Fold it in half like this, but don't completely fold these parts. So this will fold, basically fold the parts like that. Now take this and fold this back, and fold this back. So it's basically folded in fourths, and then pinch that together. And then take these parts and stick it from the back so that they round out like this. Like that. And now while pinching that, you can either like put something on it to hold it for a second or two, or you can have someone else hold it. I'm just going to try to do it on myself because why not? You take this part and you wrap it around 
trying to make sure that where the ends meet and stuff, or where the ends you're going to tape, they're on the back, so you don't want to have that on the front. So it looks something. And try to get it centered if you can, too, because it'll just look nicer. Like that. Now, still holding this. Peel a little bit of tape. Just a little piece. Which is difficult to do while holding this. And then just tape it right here. Right across the back of the bow. And there. You have a bow. And this part would look a little better if I cut it a little skinnier. I just, it's really hard while trying to hold the bow too. I'll probably fix it later. But for now it's fine. So this is how you make a bow out of tape. And then you can just like glue it or tape it or whatever you want to different things. You can put like a barrette on it. You could attach it to a bag, to a hat, to a headband. Whatever. And this is what it looks like. If you like crafts made out of tape, give this a thumbs up. And comment down below more ideas and subscribe. Bye!